In this video, I want to show you how to do a factory reset on your Whirlpool or Maytag washing machine that has a control top like this one. It's wildly different than the other washing machine videos that I've done a reset on. The top could have a different color like the Maytag Pet Pro washing machine, but the code is going to enter just the same. You need to do this if your washing machine isn't working right, it's bouncing around excessively, or especially if you've replaced a part in the machine as this works as a factory recalibration that tries to ensure that all the parts work properly installed together. To start with, make sure that no lights are lit up on the control top and the unit is in standby mode. Also make sure that the tub does not have clothes in it or has any water in it and is fully drained. Make sure the unit has electric going to it and has a good clean water supply hose as well, going to the hot and the cold. So here's how to enter the diagnostic sequence. You have to do this first part in about 8 seconds or less. Press key number 1, then key number 2 twice. 1, 2, 1, 2. Once you've done this, the lid should lock and all the lights will come on. Once the lights come on, rotate the dial clockwise once. I did this a few times and sometimes the sense light would change off and on, but in this instance it did not. Once I've rotated the dial, I press the keys in this sequence. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. If you are entering this code right, the lights are going to start turning off as you press the buttons in order. At this point, you may hear the washing machine make some noises, and then the whole LED panel is going to blink a few times. The lid lock will flash and unlock, but this whole process took about 10 seconds to do, maybe a little bit more, so I had to be patient. The last step, once the door has unlocked, is to open the lid and then close it. Almost as soon as you close the washer lid, it should relock the lid one final time and the lights will start running and blinking in order. Congratulations, the reset is now starting and it's going to run for quite some time. You'll hear the shifter run, the water will start, and then the entire calibration sequence is going to begin. This entire process takes about four minutes from what I saw on my camera. Once everything is complete, the lights will flash off and now you are totally done with recalibration. Other considerations here at the end is if you never manage to get the washing machine into the reset or recalibration mode at all, let's try to determine if the control board is in fact bad. Go to the rear of the washing machine and remove the screw on the wire plate cover here. Then the five screws here, you'll need a T20 Torx bit or a quarter inch screwdriver or drill gun to remove them. I'll have a link to those tools that I'm using in the video in the description as well as a product tag as well. Once you have the plate unscrewed, move the plate away from the washing machine. There is a hidden LED light that should be flashing that is green to show that the unit has power. If it's not flashing, either the washer's not getting power or the board itself is bad. I hope this helps you out. If you need any further help, I may be putting out a YouTube membership for info that is less common than what I can show in the videos. So if you have any questions, make sure to look for that. When you need advanced help for your washing machine, have a great day.